Hey everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun, sweet little card for you today featuring the brand new Bottled Happiness Bundle. This is in the new uh, 2022 to 2023 annual catalog from Stampin' Up. It features a punch, which we all love, and it punches out that bottle. It also has this builder punch right, or builder stamp right here that I'm gonna show you how, how I thought um, is the easiest way to do it. All right, well, let's start with our stamping. And I think when you're doing a builder stamp, especially when you're gonna use markers, you wanna use your Stamparatus, all right? Uh, Stamparatus is a fantastic tool. I've got lots of videos using Stamparatus. It is a great stamp positioning tool. Now, um, I have a piece of basic white cardstock in here, two and three fourths by a uh, four and a fourth. And I'm just gonna lay it there in the corner. When you put it in the corner, if the paper slips out at all, you can slide it right back in the corner and uh, it'll be in the exact right place that it needs to be. You're gonna need these two stamps right here. And I found that this one, the kind of maybe what I thought originally would be the second stamp is actually best to do first, okay? So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna position it on my piece of basic white cardstock. Get it centered. Um, I found also that this stamp kind of, I don't know, when I stamped it first, it was kind of leaning to the right a little bit. So you wanna make sure that you get it nice and centered. Um, I think as long as you look at it and you have these even, you'll be good to go. All right, so lay that down where you want it to go and gently pick it up. It'll stick to the paper sometimes. These photopolymers, when they're new, are very sticky. Um, one way to fix that is to take the stamp and kind of stamp it on a cloth, maybe like your jeans or a dish rag or something. It'll remove some of that sticky. Also, inking it and cleaning it will remove some of that sticky. Um, I've used it several times and it's still a little bit sticky um, and it will pick that paper up. But like I said, if you put your paper there in the corner, um, you won't have any problem. You can just put it right back. Now I'm going to use stamp and blend or stamp and write markers here at the beginning. Um, I wanted to do several colors on this little arrangement. And in here on this stamp, there are flowers and there are leaves. So I really didn't feel like I could do it all one color. The leaves and the flowers all needed to be different colors. So I'm gonna color the leaves and you kind of need to look at the image itself to see which ones are, uh, <laughs> which ones are leaves and stems and which ones are flowers. It's kind of hard to tell because they are Clear. So just take a look at it and some of them might not be exactly right, but that's okay. All right, so I'm using our new Parakeet Party. Sorry, did I bump the camera? <laughs> Got my head in there. Um, oopsie, and I missed one right there. Parakeet Party is a great new bright, vivid green. And now I'm gonna use Calypso Coral. Okay, get all those flowers. Now the good thing here is that we can stamp it and if we forgot anything, cause I do sometimes forget to color one or two, then you just lay it open and color it and do it again. All right, so lay it down, ink it and pick it up. Now you can see when you do this with the Stampin' Write markers, they're kind of washed out. They're not as bold and as vivid as you would expect with an ink pad. But since we have a Stamparatus, we can do it a couple of times. We can layer on that ink and get a more solid image. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Calypso Coral on the flowers. And let's lay it down again. I think we're gonna be much better this time. Yep, see that looks much better, much more solid. All right, now the beauty of our Stamparatus is that it has this plate that comes off that you can rearrange. And if you wanna make several of these, once you have your stamps lined up on your plate, you can leave it there and every time you put in the other piece of paper, it's gonna stamp in the exact same position. So I'm gonna leave it on here. I'm gonna turn the plate over like that. All right, now I'm gonna take this other one 
And we're gonna kind of wiggle it around to get it into the right position. I have found that if you look at the center, the flower centers, those are the ones that you're looking for um, to be lined up exactly. All right, so pick that up. Now this time, I'm gonna take pale papaya and I'm gonna ink the whole thing, okay? And then we're gonna lay that down. Beautiful. Now, I wanted to add a little variation. So these little cone flowers, I'm gonna go back over them with Calypso Coral and they're gonna just kind of make it a little bit of a darker orangey color. Um, these little these little round ones too, I think I did that as well. Let's see, two, one, two, three, yep, you got them all. And we'll lay that down. So you can kind of see how that's gonna be a little bit darker than the flowers. Oh, beautiful. All right, and there you have it. Um, the Stamparatus makes this really, really easy. Um, I don't think you should be intimidated by it at all, especially if you have that Stamparatus. It's going to be super easy. All right, we're going to stamp the bottle in um, one of our new colors. This is Starry Sky. And I'm putting a foam mat underneath. Um, when I stamp big, solid photopolymer stamps, I like to put a foam mat underneath to make sure I get a solid image. And then you could take your punch, turn it over and just punch this baby out like that. Now I've got the sentiment. This one here I stamped sending cheer, but I thought this time we'll try the other one that says wine not. I think that's kind of clever. And I'm going to use Calypso Coral. This is a tiny little white, basic white tag that I cut using one of our die sets. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go over to my blog. I'll have all the products listed there for you. All right, now grab your dimensionals. Of course, my dimensional sheet is almost out, but I'm gonna cut these apart. Don't ever throw these away. These make great dimensionals just as much as the others do. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my little tag and we'll put that on right here. Now let's get linen thread and I'm gonna fold it in half and tie a double bow. I kind of want that bow to be kind of wild and full. All right, and then we could put that on with a blue dot. Right in that little hole right there. Okay, we're ready to put the rest of our card together. I have a piece of basic white that is five and a fourth by four. And I have cut half inch strips. This little gingham, this adorable gingham, is from the T Boutique Designer Series Paper Pack. And I'm going to start with that. And I will tell you, it's best to pull out your grid paper. Let me get my grid paper out. Because you can use the lines on your grid paper to get this lined up. All right, so make sure you've got your piece right here along the lines, and then you can use, you know what, I'm just gonna put a tiny little dot of adhesive to keep that in its place. Now I can use these lines here <laughs> if I could get my paper to behave. Come on, stay. All right, now I'm gonna use those other lines to get my strips straight. All right, so there's the gingham. And then I'm gonna do, um, this is called Orchid Oasis. These new colors are just beautiful. These go really well together. And then we've got Starry Sky. If I can not adhere my strips to each other. All right, and I just started that about half or a quarter inch away from the edge. So I just use that very first line. All right, and now we'll do the gingham again. 
And I'm going to put that right there. Again, just coming up one from that um, bottom line. Then we've got Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. All right, once you have those, pick your sheet up and flip it over and we're just gonna cut off all of these. You could use your trimmer here too to make them even. I always cut my pieces a little bit longer because inevitably if I try to cut them the right size, they're gonna be a tiny bit too short. <laughs> and you can fix too long, but you can't fix too short. So I have learned, give yourself a little wiggle room. There we go. Okay, let's bring over our Starry Sky card base. Isn't this color gorgeous? Right there. And I have the new in color dots. Here they are. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna just put one on either end of the solid pieces like that. They match perfectly, which is always so nice. Okay, and then last, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals right in the middle. And there you have it. Now this stamp set is available beginning May 3rd, 2022. Um, think about all the color combinations you could do. If you're ever looking for color combinations, just search um, color combos. I, I will search something like spring color combos or Tuscan color combos, and you will find lots of inspiration um, to, to, you know, put into your uh, paper crafts. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have questions and make sure to click this link here on YouTube, go back to my blog and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.